The Prometheus server is a really powerful system, but what makes Prometheus different to other monitoring solutions is how it fetches metrics from the systems. Any system that you want to monitor needs to run an exporter which provides all its metrics via HTTP. The Prometheus server grabs the metrics from the HTTP every 30 seconds or whatever is configured and stores them in a time series database. It's not important for Prometheus what system it's connecting to fetch metrics or what they mean. The job of exporter is to provide metrics in a standard Prometheus format. Even though the content of the metrics in each system or application is different, the process of exporting and collecting metrics is the same. For example, on a Linux server, we can run an exporter process using a tool called the node exporter, which is a part of the Prometheus ecosystem by the way. That exporter provides metrics via the HTTP protocol. Here is an example of output from a node exporter that is installed on a Linux. Prometheus format is a simple text format where every metric has a name, a value, and it can have description which includes the type and explanation of that metric. Metric can also have a label. For example, here total number of the connections for HTTP protocol is exposed in this metric. My Linux server is running the Asterisk application and Asterisk also exports Prometheus metrics as well. Asterisk developers added Prometheus support in the code using Prometheus client libraries. All major programming languages have Prometheus client libraries. Here is a sample of metrics that Asterisk application provides. Metrics such as number of channels, number of calls, number of SIP endpoints and so on. You can verify these metrics by running Asterisk commands. For example, here I tested number of channels in Asterisk by running core show channels in the Asterisk console. So by using Prometheus, we will have metrics about hardware, the operating system, and also the telephony application that we are running on that operating system. The whole Prometheus monitoring system is built on a single server, and there are a whole bunch of exporters for Windows, Linux, databases, web servers, cloud platforms, or even applications such as Elasticsearch, Asterisk, or FreeSwitch. Prometheus also have client libraries in different languages such as Java, Python, Go, Node, and .NET. Now that we know more about how Prometheus metrics works, let's install Node Exporter on a Linux server and view operating system metrics in our Prometheus server. By the end of this lab, we will also have an idea of where the Prometheus configuration files are located and how to work with them. In the next video in this series, we will dig into the asterisk Prometheus configurations to monitor our asterisk. I put the instructions on how to install Prometheus node exporter on my GitHub VoIP monitoring repo. You need to select Prometheus node exporter in installation article and we will go uh, through the steps once together here. In order to install Prometheus node exporter on Linux, uh, the first step is to download the node exporter. You can download from the website or use this uh, command to automatically download the latest version, extract it. move it to the bin directory, create necessary user for the node exporter service, and create the uh, systemd service. You can use nano or vime or any editor that you are familiar with. So I just open the uh, file and edited the systemd service file and then I start the node exporter. Reload and also 
enable. And let's check the status of our node exporter as well. Okay, great. So our node exporter is already running on our uh, target host on our ASCII server here that we want to monitor. Um, the next step is actually to open the firewall. If you have any firewall, the node exporter is running on port 9100. I'm not using any firewall here. It's a testing machine, so I don't need to run this command. And then the next step is to go to our Prometheus server and introduce this a new server as one of our actually nodes that you want to monitor. So the next step, you need to connect to your Prometheus server. If you don't know how to install it, you need to watch my uh, previous videos. So let's connect to the Prometheus system. So I log into my Prometheus server. And I need to go to etc Prometheus. This is where the Prometheus configuration files is located and the file of the actually configuration for the Prometheus is prometheus.yml. Uh, here we have a actually section a static configs and we have a, a job name Prometheus. Uh, by default, if you check yours, it's uh, your local host because I added another server so I can see the server is here. What I need to do, I need to enter the IP address of uh, my host uh, here, I mean the host that I'm monitoring. Uh, I forgot to ask the IP address, but I have a domain name, so let's just uh, ping it. Okay, this is the IP address of the host that I just installed the uh, node exporter on it. What I need to do, I just need to uh, edit this config. I'm editing it, of course, you can have multiple hosts. But this is not what we want to focus on right, it, right now. So I just add a target here. The next step is to, I need to check if uh, all the configurations are okay. So I can use the prompt tool to check if the syntax is fine and I can see I get a success. And then I need to restart my Prometheus. and check the status of the Prometheus. Okay, great, it's running. Uh, to verify that, I can actually uh, go to my address of my Prometheus server. I mean the same server that I just configured, what is the IP address? And then port uh, 9090. 9090 is the Prometheus uh, port address, S slash targets, to see what targets I have here. Let's just go to the IP address port 1990 slash targets. Uh, as you can see, I have one here, but it's failed. Let's see what is the problem. Let's just check if we can access to that server, if we can access to the metrics. 1990. We cannot access to that uh, system. Why? Let's see. Let's SSH to the uh, previous server again. SSH rooted over asterisk 18 actually. And see if it is running on port 9100. It's listening. Did we have any mistake in our configurations? Because I could see, oh, it's once, okay, we didn't enter the right port here. Let's go back to our Prometheus. Go to etc. Prometheus. Open the Prometheus YAML. Yes, here there is a mistake. The port address is not 1990, it is 90, uh, 9010. As you can see here, we are listening on, sorry, 9100. And then we have, we can save it and we can restart the 
Prometheus. And let's check right now. Okay, it is still unknown, uh, but it will take some time. Yes, as you can see now, we can access the metrics from our uh, Linux box. So these are the metrics about CPU, RAM, or all the information of that uh, Linux host. And here, it will take some time. Yes, and this up right now. As you can see, we have a scrape duration. This is the time that we go and read these metrics. Of course, it can be set in our Prometheus YAML.conf as well. I think by default it's 15 seconds. Yes, by default it's a scrape interval is uh, 15 seconds. You can uh, change it to lower or higher value based on your requirement. And that's it. Our Linux box is added to our Prometheus system and it's ready. It's monitoring already by Prometheus. Of course, we need to create rules, etc., that we will learn in the uh, next videos. Uh, but the node, expert, the node exporter is installed and it's ready to use in our Prometheus system. Uh, thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will learn how to uh, actually monitor asterisk and get asterisk metrics in our Prometheus. Of course, we have two methods to get these metrics, client libraries and node exporter, that in the next video, we will use the client libraries or the uh, asterisk actually uh, Prometheus.conf configuration files. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please put your questions in the comments. Thank you, and goodbye.